Welcome to Maction Planet, I'm Mac, and today I'm at Japan versus Chile in Toulouse for Rugby World Cup 2023. Toulouse, absolutely beautiful city. So I've decided to take a stroll from where I'm staying, which is near the main station, down to the stadium. Should be about 50 minutes or so. Rugby World Cup 2019 was such a formative experience for me. Such a fantastic time that I couldn't wait for four years to roll around and to do it all again in France in 2023. I'm very lucky that I'm here for the whole tournament from the opening game. France versus New Zealand in Paris all the way to the final, which I hope either Japan or England will make. It's an absolutely spectacular day here in Toulouse. Just look at this sky. Interesting classic car rally taking place through the center of Toulouse today. This is a much more beautiful walk than to any of the stadia in 2019. Spectacular. Japan, not the only country that owned the utility hole cover game. Better stop off for some stomach lining. When in France, can you get any better way to start off a Sunday morning than this? Somebody had some fun last night. Rugby is all around. France really responding to their role as a host nation. What awaits me, of course, is a fantastic encounter between Japan and Chile. And if all goes to plan, I'll be arriving at the stadium about one hour before kickoff. It's interesting seeing a lot of different people wearing the Japan shirt after their success against South Africa in 2015 and the incredible job they did hosting the World Cup itself in 2019, beating Ireland and Scotland in incredible matches I was lucky to witness. Japan have really become the, one of the neutrals choices, as it were, in rugby. And when you combine that with a country's soft power, it makes for a fantastic combination. Japan did such a great job hosting the 2019 Rugby World Cup. And I'm interested to see how France go up against that fan experience. Japan find themselves in a very tough group this time round, facing up against England, Argentina, Samoa and Chile. It's going to be some great matches and I'm super excited that I'm going to be able to attend all of them. Of course, things starting to get busier as we approach the stadium. I am sur le pont de Toulouse. Some new friends here. Everybody's super excited. Look at it. You couldn't get any better than this. Magnificent weather. So good to get out of the heat of Tokyo. Oh my God, too much. Everybody friendly, beautiful architecture, great food. And this is what the Rugby World Cup is all about. This is my first time to Toulouse and it's a fantastic place. I'm excited that I'm actually gonna get a chance to come back here again for more games in this tournament. The volunteers of this tournament doing a fantastic job. Bonjour. Bonjour. From here, it's ticket holders only. This ticket holders only checkpoint is a fair way from the stadium itself. Interesting. For those who cannot get this far and experience the pre-game atmosphere around the stadium, then there is actually a fan village, which is more in the center of town. With exactly one hour to go, there's a bit of congestion to get into the stadium grounds themselves. Here it is. Yeah, thank you. Merci, madame. And we're in. This is it. Fantastic atmosphere already. Official beer of the 2023 Rugby World Cup. Let's hope the beer management is superior to the embarrassment 
of the uh, Stade de France. Professional TV crews are out, of course. This stadium's great, holds 33,000, and it's the home stadium of Toulouse Football Club. The official store where you can buy some reasonably, oh no, wait a minute, the other one, extortionately priced merchandise. I'm sure I'll be sucking into purchasing some as the tournament goes on. Japan, we never give up. Good to be reunited with old friends from 2019. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go Japan! Go Japan. <laughs> nice little civilized food truck zone. Merci. happening outside but it's time to go and check out what's happening on the pitch the boys warming up fantastic Great stadium, 33,000 or so capacity. That's the legend, Michael Leach. Look at this Chomage, fantastic. Chomage, you know. That's right. <laughs> The atmosphere is electric. Japan's first match in Rugby World Cup 2023. Let's see what happens. This game is a one o'clock kickoff. A perfect time. It's actually going to get warmer later on in the day. So, magnificent time to be playing rugby. Predictions before I head in. I think it's going to be an easy victory for Japan. Let's see what happens. So, with everybody heading into the stadium, it's time for me to do the same. Heading up the stairs. Here it is. Oh my goodness, look at this!
incredible scenes here, everybody on their feet. Ladies and gentlemen, number of both teams, please stand up for the national anthems of Kevin and Chile. There's a TMO decision here involving the Chile try. Straight back in the game. Nepal. 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 What an amazing day for the rugby. seconds to go of the shot clock that is Japan 14 Chile 7 Japan will be trying to get something out of this and they did and what a way to end the half Japan 21, Chile 7. This is some punchy pricing for the beers and the waters, certainly by Japanese standards. Kanpai. Chile with the try there. 
bringing it back to 21-12. at the capacity of the stadium absolutely fantastic each and every person contributing to a phenomenal atmosphere Exciting times, ref's gone to the TMO. Yeah, he's given it. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. What a scoreline for Japan. And that's it. Of a man of the match, much deserved. Absolutely phenomenal performance. Absolutely incredible. Six tries and conversions for Japan. What a phenomenal start to our tournament. I'll see you at England versus Japan. You cannot deny Japan's domination of this encounter. Chile with 55% of the possession, but Japan 66% territorial advantage.
<laughs> Look at this guy. Hong Tony, make sure, make sure, kawaii. Arigato. Make sure, make sure. It's a mecha, kawaii. I love it. later in the house making sure that some of our most famous fans are understood on Frank's television. It took a while, but I gotta say, it was a great haul of photos with some of our key players. Fantastic to see them after the match. Jubilant after a dominating performance against Chile. And it's going to be a bit tougher against England next week, but after those surprises against Ireland and Scotland, admittedly at home, but at World Cup, you never know. Once again, the impossible may become the possible. Until next time, we continue.